Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. So I'm here in Riley's room. Um, she just woke up from quiet time or like it's the end of quiet time. So it's a little bit of a later vlog. But today what I wanted to do is it's snowing outside. It's like one of those snow days. I'm going to show you guys outside of her window. But whatever, let me show you first and then I'll continue with what I was going to tell you. So check it out. Look at the snow coming down. It's just crazy. We have like another one of those winter storm advisories right now. So the snow is coming down, which means that can't really go outside right now. It's too cold. Of course, she's begging me to go outside, but I told her when it stops, maybe we can go outside. But point is, we're cooped up at home. It is the weekend, and we are going stir crazy. We're kind of like just like losing it slowly. Um, so we're gonna hang out at home. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys maybe a couple ways that I keep the kids entertained. I'll see if I can show you just some of the little activities and stuff that we do. Um, today's video is also sponsored by KiwiCo. I got new KiwiCo crates that we're gonna do with the kids downstairs as soon as yeah, we get down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you excited hey little miss I'm not ready just yet okay oh I hear Jackson so we're gonna do those in a minute but Riley's been here uh, what are you doing are you painting on your iPad yeah can I can I show the guys what you paint I'm gonna paint Cinderella Cinderella this is in case you guys need like an app um, for your kiddos this is the one that she uses probably the most often it's called let me just show you it's called baby coloring it's that little uh the little dude there but it's a brand called beamy boo um so they do like i have like a bunch of them we've got beamy academy toddler puzzles baby coloring so that's one that she does and then she goes painting we also have the peppa app on there that she loves to play with so you guys can look up any of those um do you want to do some activities today Oh, yeah. yeah, we've got a fun one for you. Kiwiko. Yeah, Kiwiko. Uh, Hi. Yes. Hi. Is today going to be a fun day? Probably it is. Probably it is. Um, This oh, morning we did a little bit of school work with her. We did like, I was working with her out of one of her little activity books because, again, like, there's only so much you can do within your four walls. We were having to get very creative over here. So maybe we can show you a few of the ways that we do that. This was um, her rocking horse that she put to sleep here <laughs> earlier today. So she said that she wanted him to go night night too. So she put him with a blanket. Lots of pretend plays happening. So <laughs> there is that. Let's see if Jackson is in a good mood because he was not. <laughs> he went down for his nap. Oh, too bright. Hello, Jackson. Ow. Is it too bright? Yeah. yeah. How was your nap? You had a good nap? Give me five. Oh, yeah. You want a high five for me? There good. you go. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Like, I thought he was asleep, but he was already asleep when I opened up that door. Really? When I would just tiptoed to Jackson's room, oh, yeah, and I opened up the door just a little bit so he can wake up, and I was just oh. gonna if you have nice. cars and you did. Alright, so we've got a mess over here. I was going to show you that. Um, the kids have this um, set. It's super old. It's like a set of like wooden blocks. And the kids use them, obviously, to build towers and stuff. Yeah. But the other day, I made them so that Jackson had like a little track for his cars. So I put them together like this. Like this is the kind of stuff that I do with my life, you guys. So I made like a little track. And then I got his cars <laughs> And then we started getting the cars on the oh, track. Like yeah, and then we were building like bridges and like tunnels for the car. So sometimes you've just got to, you know, like think outside the box. And this was keeping him entertained for a super long time. How do you put the car on the track? Yeah. Put oh, the no. Oh no, you broke the road, Riley. Sorry. Hey Jackson, how do you put the car on the road? Was that fun? <laughs> you like that? Oh no, there's like a little tiny hole in the road. Is that better? There you go. Now you can go. I'm glad you're so excited about that. While they're playing there, I also wanted to tell you, so I knew that the snowstorm was coming, right? So um, two days ago, I took them to the library because I was like, well, let's stock up on library books so that you know, if we get snowed in or whatever, if the weather's bad for a couple days, they have new library books. And I was intending to like do a whole library day with them. It was gonna be like super fun. 
So we get there to the library and it's closed again. So I had no idea, but apparently since, I don't know, they were going backwards these days and because of COVID, they closed our library. So if you're planning on going to the library anytime soon, call up and make sure they're not closed. But thankfully, they had these cute little like to-go bags. So I called them, I called the number that they had like outside. They were still doing like curbside pickup. So I got these little bags and each one was like a themed like to go bag so they had like one that was about like animal stories and another bag of books that was like dancing feet i think is what they called it so point is we got new library books for the kids so you see like there were like a bunch about like dancing and then there were other ones that were just like animal books so we do have new library books so i always like to like whenever i'm talking about entertaining your kids and all of that our kids love books but books can be expensive so don't forget that the library is a great resource to get free books and that's how you know we go alternating our books and not having to spend a fortune and Riley loves these stories Joe reads them to her at night and then now Jackson's getting into them he um I was reading him this one that he really likes now that's over here the drafts can't dance this is one of his new favorites so again a library book we'll keep it for a little while read it and then we'll return it and get new ones and then if there's ever like a book that they really fall in love with then we can go and buy it but we don't have to buy all of them are you making a little town yeah, yeah that is. with your car oh, baby. beep beep <laughs> all right so i'll let him play here for a little bit and then we'll go downstairs and we can open up those cute co boxes he was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees come but when he tried to run around he buckled at the knees look he fell because he has like two left feet now every year in Africa they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when they arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing he was really rather bad. Yeah. Look, the warthogs. Haha. <laughs> ah. And we have the lion. Ah. And we have the lion. What are these? Are these monkeys and the baboons? All right, so we're downstairs. Like I said, we're gonna work on the Kiwico boxes that came in for the kids. So thank you to Kiwico for sponsoring today's video. Um, I've shared these now on my channel a couple different times. The kids get so excited every single time that they see their boxes. They're probably not even gonna let me open them, like like talk to you before we open them up. But if this is your first time like hearing about Kiwico or you just need like a little refresher, basically Kiwico, they're a subscription company and they have subscription lines for like all different ages. So it's from like toddlers, like babies, toddlers teenagers like all different ages which is one of the things that's really cool about them and what they do is they promote like steam based learning so we're talking about science technology engineering math um, art like all of those things in like a really fun way for kids to understand so yeah. you get different boxes every month and they all have like a different little theme this is the koala crate because this is ages two to four now Jackson's graduated from like the little panda crate to the koala crate Jackson can you like chill one minute but they're super cute and what I like is that Everything that you need um, to like complete all the activities and stuff comes wow. straight in the box Could I see And of too? course they're gonna like rip everything open So pretty much everything you need is all in here and then it's like a whole fun day of like doing Activities um, with the kids so this is what we're gonna spend some time on and to me This is perfect because like we have nothing else to do and we need some entertainment So this one is cute. This one's like a little farmers market kit and I think you set it up so that um, there's even like play money and they can do that and just really use their imagination You always get like a little magazine that kind of shows you the instructions on how to put everything together it Gives you some other um, ideas on things that you can do like I had already Looked at this so this one's like how to make some apple cookies with apples peanut butter raisins So this is always a cool resource So we're gonna play with them and you guys will see them throughout the vlog playing with their little farmers market kit We have to first make the vegetables Okay, this is like for us to make the corn and all the different vegetables. We have to make the peas, Jackson. You have to have a little bit of patience, okay? Okay. Yes, we're gonna open it up and do it together, okay? And then like I said, every month it's something different. Like a couple boxes ago, Riley had one that was like, 
uh, when she made like the fish and then she was pretending to go fishing like they're super cute anyway they did give me a code if you guys want to try it out it's 50 percent off of your first month of kiwi co i'm going to leave all the information like here on the screen down below in the description box but I highly recommend that you guys check it out. Again, even if you have older kids, there's something there for everyone. So I'm gonna get to work on this one before they have a fit. But we've been loving them and I can't thank KiwiCo yes. enough for sponsoring today's video. All right, so first things first, I think we have to make the little, um, the vegetables. So we've gotta make the tomatoes, make the carrots. So there's like stuffing that little Miss Riley has over there and then we gotta put them in here. This is so cute. So we're gonna do that. And then we'll show you, I guess, once things are a little bit more done. Okay, okay you don't have to scream at me. Joseph Buell, are you gonna be the owner of the farmer's market? Always. When we set this up, you gonna play farmer's market with the kids? Okay, there. They're That's working it. on the vegetables. You got six? And then we can close it and we can make a little pea. Oh my god, that's so cute. Now, what other things do we have to make? We've gotta make some corn. Okay, can I make the corn? Yeah, we can make the corn. Oh, my little carrot. Yeah. Carrot. Got a carrot. Good job. Now, let me share it. Okay, so here we go guys. I just wanted you to see what it looked like when we finished making all the veggies. This is so cute. <laughs> so they have their little veggies set up. They're gonna fight about something over there, but they've got their money that they can play with. So we're gonna do a little pretend play here. Riley, are you gonna be the farmer? No. Who's gonna be the farmer? Yeah. And then who are you gonna be? I'm gonna be the buyer. You're gonna be the buyer? You can be the farmer's mark. I can be the farmer. Okay, well, what would you like to buy today? Okay, well, everything is a dollar, okay? Yeah. Hey, Jackson, come here. You gonna buy something from the farmer's market? Yeah. Hey, you two, are you gonna buy something? Because, like, I spent a lot of time setting this up, so. Okay, what would you what, like to buy? I want to buy. Could you buy me carrots, peas, and corn? Okay, carrots, peas, and <coughs> corn. So, everything is one dollar, okay? So one dollar, two dollars, three dollars. I need you to pay me three dollars. So we've got to find the one that looks like one. See, look, this is one dollar. See that says one. Jackson, you didn't pay for it. You didn't pay for your stuff. You didn't pay for it, you thief. Come back and give me money. <laughs> Come back. Okay, so we have moved on to like real food now. So. The kids were asking for a snack, so Jackson's over here peeling his orange apple, or his orange, we just call it orange apple. That's something else that he likes to do these days, is peel it himself, so it's a little activity oh, no. for him. Oh no, are you having issues? You need help? What do you say? You're welcome. Here's your crackers. Meanwhile, Riley's over here. She's playing with um, one of those little Play-Doh sets that I've shown you before. She's still playing with the Christmas one that I got her, but this is something that the kids love to do, um, whether it's like a, a real like Play-Doh kit or like one of the ones that we get from Etsy. Why, why are you having a fit, child? No, this is mine. Hey, oh, okay. This is what it looks like to have two kids, by the way. Welcome to my life. Here's your crackers, thank you. But um, I'll link some of these down below if you guys wanna see like the kits that we buy. But a lot of this, like you can just buy Play-Doh and then they're like little trinkets and straws and things that the kids can, you know, just like use their imagination to create like little scenes and stuff. So you can always go to like to the Dollar Tree and like buy a lot of this stuff, um, like pipe cleaners and just like any little figurines and stuff that go with whatever theme you're making, but they love to play with this and it keeps them entertained for a really long time. By the way, it looks like the snow has stopped for now. I don't know if that's gonna be the extent of the snow. Either way, we got a few inches and our entire backyard is full of snow again. So we'll see if there's any more, but at least, you know, they've got stuff to do in the meantime since it's still freaking freezing outside. So Riley's not playing with this right now, but it's out. So I wanted to show you something that's been keeping her super entertained these days. Um, my sister for Christmas had gotten her like this little set of lacing cards. Um, and she has been loving to play with these and practicing like those lacing skills. 
So it comes with like some shoelaces and then all these different things to lace and then she goes lacing them and then what's cool is that on the back they have letters and then um like jackson can look at the letters i've been trying to work on him with like letters and just like showing him new words and stuff you know like kind of like flashcards, but you know with the little lacing cards so i'll link this for you guys too because i feel like it's such a great toy and you see all of these she did by herself and you know she's still working on it still getting the hang of it but it's good for like those fine motor skills so that is another Thing that keeps them entertained for a really long time like i was telling my sister i texted her because that entertained riley for like a whole hour the other day after dinner we gave her the lacing cards and she was like she had a fit she had a meltdown when we had to go upstairs to go to her room like for bedtime because she wanted to keep playing with those so that's something if you guys are new here by the way riley just turned four and um jackson just turned two i probably should have said that at the beginning but if you've got like a four-year-old or like a toddler that you know is working on those lacing skills that is a good toy hey guys hello Trying to play with my play so well, I'll be right back. Back, and I'm just trying to force the water. Really quick. This! If you're done, smush it out like again. And then we'll lay them right here so you can build your beautiful pond right between the sand. Put some waves coming. So you can put whatever color, but I start to put some blues to make the waves. So here's one way, smushing it way down so it can stick. One way, there are two ways. So good. And I'm sure we have some building blocks and we have some building blocks for so more fun. And I'll build a tower. So my name is Raggy and, and yeah, I'm gonna I'll make sure yeah, that your ready. friends are good. And we're gonna put the this bar in the seat. Hey! Dada, what is that noise? Is that rain? Alright, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is really if you're a little bit more adventurous. You guys know me. If you're like regular here, I can deal with a little bit of mess. I can deal with a lot of chaos. But this is something that I think Riley and maybe Jackson, well mostly Riley, is going to really enjoy. So like I said, um, it's snowing outside. So Joe just got um, a bunch of snow and brought it in a tub. Are you guys just eating that really? That's what you guys are? That's all they want to do is just eat the ice? Eat the snow? Okay, so anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm bringing the snow inside. We do this a lot like when it's snowing because like it's freezing outside. If you don't want to be freezing but you still want them to play with snow, you can get it in a big bin. Right. And then... What snow do we not eat? Uh, yellow snow. <laughs> we don't eat yellow snow. Um, so we put it in a bin and then they can play with it. The other day we brought like um, Jackson's cars and we played, you know, he can put the cars in the snow, all of that. Or sometimes we bring out Riley's Peppa Pigs. Oh, you're gonna go get a car? Sometimes, <laughs> he heard me. Um, sometimes we'll bring out Riley's Peppas and they can play in there. They can play like they're at a snow hotel or whatever. So we do that a lot. If you guys don't have snow, then, look, he's getting all his cars. If you guys don't have snow, um, you can obviously do this with just water. Anytime that the kids have any kind of body of water, they go crazy you can play car wash with the cars like one of our favorite things to do yes it's got snow on it because you just put it in there what do you expect um one of our favorite things to do is to paint cars so we'll use like the crayola paint and then the kids will paint their little cars and then they come right off with some water but that's just me giving you an idea if you don't have snow but what we're gonna do today is a little different so i took some food coloring and we have three little things of water. And I'm gonna have, so I just mixed the food coloring with the water. Now we've got colored water. And I'm gonna give Riley a dropper so she can paint the snow. And this is just me testing it here um, before I had Joe get the, like, the giant bin. But you can just pick up the food coloring and she can kind of paint in the snow and mix yes, colors. So I think that this is something that she's gonna really like to do and something a little different. That makes, happy. That makes you happy, Riley? That doesn't make me bored. That doesn't make you bored. I'm so glad. Here we've got yellow but you can't have and those. red. This one really does look like pink. <laughs> but it's not. It's I'm not playing. There we go. We've got blue, yellow, and red. Yay! And she can work on that. No. I'm trying to separate them with different bins because then they're going to fight over the big bin. But yeah. they may end up just using Ooh. everything over uh, there. Yeah. Hey, I got Jackson a paintbrush because he doesn't really know how to use a dropper. No, but we're not coloring the cars. We're putting it in the snow. Put the paintbrush in the snow. There you go. See, you can kind of paint the snow. Dip it in there. So just something a little different to do. Of course, put like some kind of towel or something if you don't want to make a huge mess. Are you mixing the colors? 
You made a beautiful purple. And then she can work on like, you know, mixing colors and what colors, you know, things turn into when you mix them. And Jackson's all excited because he learned how to use a dropper. I was teaching him how to squeeze. This is like the first time that he uses it. You gotta get more. Squeeze. There you go. <laughs> Good job, Gordo. So this is how, you know, we teach him skills. And yes, it can be a little bit messy. But they've been really liking it. And you see now this snow over here. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It's got like all the different colors. He put his monster trucks in. And this has been keeping them entertained for a very long time. So that was a hit today. All right, so the indoor snow activity was very much a hit, but I'm still trying to kill some time before the kids have to go take a bath and go to sleep. So KiwiCo had sent me one other box that was really more so for Jackson, but I'll show you guys what came in. It, it's um an alphabet play box, which is gonna be cool because we're working with Jackson. Like I wanna be working with him on the alphabet, on the letters. So I think that this is gonna help. Wanna see what's in here? Yeah. Okay. Is it gonna be an alphabet puzzle? It's not a puzzle, but it's got, um, it's got, I have to show you, otherwise you're not gonna understand. So it's got a little book. Got a little book, and then this is this koala that you're gonna basically like feed him the little letters. It's it's a cute concept. So it's a wooden koala, and I forgot what his name is. I think his name is in there somewhere. All right, so I gotta figure out how to get this guy to stand up. But you have this little koala guy. I'm just gonna put him here for right now so you guys can see. And then you've got all the different letters in this little bag. So you've got letters, and then they have objects on the back of them. So like for D, You've got D, and then on the back there's like a picture of a donut. I don't even know if you guys can see it. And then you go feeding the little koala. Isn't that cute? And then, is this to like let them drop? Yeah, this is to collect them, I guess. But you can go telling your little ones like to find the letters and find the pictures, and then they go feeding the koala. And then it also came with this, which is um, like another like alphabet activity. So it's this, and you get all the different letter cards, and then there's like little felt pieces to help them like draw like you know to kind of help them like with what the letters look like i'm totally explaining that awfully but you've got all of these felt pieces and they're like little puzzles essentially that you can work on the letters with them so um we can do that and then there's this which is the instructions again walks you through all of that and then there's this magazine a little magazine that i'm excited to read because it'll probably give me some more advice on teaching him about the alphabet because that's like one of our goals for this year with him so this is going to be good this is something that we actually do a lot um we do like magnets or we get like a baking tray or we even just do it on the refrigerator and we have like little magnets look they're over here see i have this set of um letters and it used to come with it came with the lowercase letters too but since i want jackson just to work on the uppercase letters i took out the lowercase ones so he could focus on these. Jackson, what's the matter? That's blippy. So sometimes like when I'm cooking and stuff, I'll just like put these out on the floor for him and then he goes sticking these onto the refrigerator. It kind of keeps him entertained and it's something like educational and I've been starting to um, like ask him, you know, where the different letters are. He's still not there where he gets it. He just doesn't know, but you've got to start somewhere. So magnets are always fun. Always recommend those. So I can try to find these and link them. But like I said, I removed the numbers and I removed the lowercase letters so he could focus on like one thing at a time. Are you feeding the koala? Yeah, I, I always talk to him. I'll show you in one minute to show you how to do it. Okay. I have one and put feed the koala. Oh no! We're gonna feed him some french fries? Oh no! These are french fries and then you put them in this teeny tiny hole to let them go. Watch. That's so fun! Oh no! 
Jackson's like, give me that right now, lady. So stuff like this, like even this like little letter puzzle with the felt stuff, like this stuff is great because I keep it in my collection of like educational resources and toys and stuff. And then on a day like today where we're literally just trying to keep them entertained all day, we're not going anywhere, I can be like, oh, let's work on this or here, let's do this activity. And that's just how I stay somewhat sane because I'm home with the kids all day, every day, okay? I'm a full-time stay-at-home mom. The kids don't go to daycare, they don't go to pre-K, they don't do anything other than see my face all day. And that's like, it puts a lot of pressure on me, you know, because I've got to entertain them. Like, I'm not playing with them every minute because I do still think that some independent play is good for them. Like, I'm not sitting there face-to-face -face with them all day, every day, but I still feel like I have to set up some activities for them. I have to get them to be entertained, you know, and teaching them stuff. So that's one of the reasons why stuff like KiwiCo and these subscriptions and stuff I know that some people don't like subscriptions, but they're good in a way because it changes stuff up. Like it gives you something new to look forward to. There's like that novelty. And then you go adding to your collection of like things that you can store and then bring back on a rainy day. So like the farmer's market stuff, I'll probably leave it out there for maybe a week or so. And then after a week, after like the newness wears out, I'll put it in a bin, put it in the basement, and then keep it there and then we'll add that to our rotation of stuff that I can you know bring out every once in a while so that stuff for me is great because I don't have to come up with stuff I don't have to spend time like on Pinterest trying to figure out like oh you know what do I do today it's literally just like delivered to you on a monthly basis and spells everything out for you like I said it has everything that you need in it so we've really been enjoying that Jackson are you feeding the koala yeah. what are you feeding him what is this one let's see the picture what is that that's a cracker. Yeah, cracker. Yum yum. Bye. Bye. See you later. All right, guys. So it is a little later. We're in my room on the bed, hanging out right until bedtime. Like, I'm trying to kill just a little more time, and then they'll be off to bed. Little people. Hi. So, yeah, we're going to cuddle up here and watch Shrek for a little while. Um, Just do something a little different. The kids don't. Kids don't sleep in my bed or anything like that unless this guy's being, you know, lately he's been giving us a hard time with the two-year aggression and he ends up in our Stop. bed sometimes. But this is something that I like to do, like, um, just to kind of switch things Ow. up a bit. Just to switch things up a little bit. Sometimes we'll just come to my room and cuddle and watch a movie in my room as opposed to, like, downstairs. Sometimes it's just, like, about, you know, changing up the scenery, changing up. You know, like if you normally watch TV, sometimes if you just like want to break up the monotony of the day, do it somewhere else. You could even do something as simple as like maybe you have sleeping bags, maybe you want to set up sleeping bags on the floor and watch movies in sleeping bags. Maybe you want to set up a tent, um, like we have our little California beach coat tent that sometimes we open up. You can go in there and maybe watch a movie on an iPad. Just trying to give you some ideas of ways to just like entertain them and do things a little bit just different. But yeah, I'm gonna go because Riley's having a fit that she can't hear Shrek. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope at least this gave you some, you know, just some thoughts, some ideas of things to do to entertain your toddlers. Um, but that is it, my friends. Thanks to KiwiCo again for sponsoring today's video. Again, if you want to get 50% off your first month, the info will be down below in the description box. And that is it. More vlogs to come. If you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure that you hit the red subscribe button. Be my friend over here and we can just hang out and try to figure out ways to keep these tiny humans occupied and entertained so that we don't go absolutely insane. So, love your freaking faces. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.